Hey everybody, it's Lisa with TNL Pottery. I am so sorry I have not had very many videos lately. I've been busy with workshops, but this month of June has been pretty hectic. Every single week I had a workshop going on with kids. Um, I had one workshop that I had to prep a hundred for a hundred kids, but it actually turned out to be 81. And then I had a history camp that I did for two weeks, and that was fun. Um, that was with the West Baton Rouge Museum. And then the first one was with the West Baton Rouge Parks and Recreation. So June has been pretty hectic with uh, workshops. Another thing that's been going on is my local arts council of Point Capete. They suggested that I apply for what's called the Get Ready Grant with the uh, Greater Baton Rouge Arts Council. And so I did that. And um, what it is, is it is to help artists prepare for disasters and to help with their safety um, in their arts and in their studios. So the project that I am going to be doing is getting more storage. <laughs> Um, because my studio is very small. It's basically an enclosed single car carport. And um, on top of it being small, I just have so much stuff in it because originally it was my arts and craft room where me and my daughter could just come in here and do arts and crafts. And then it became m my studio on top of my arts and crafts. But all of my pottery stuff is kind of just exploded <laughs> in here and it creates a fire hazard because I have no, I mean, I have some walk room, but it's just too much stuff all over the floor. Originally, I actually had the door, I have two doors, one that goes outside and one that goes into the house. And the door that went outside was actually blocked by all kinds of stuff. So I did a cleanup day and got rid of a lot of stuff and moved things around. And that's around the time whenever I was getting my new um, slab roller too. So I had to make room. Anyways, um, I've had a couple people ask to see what my studio looks like. So I'm just going to do a pre-project pre video to show you what it looks like and then I'm gonna do some videos throughout my project because I have six months to complete um, the project for the grant and let me show you what it looks like and this of course is after a disaster of preparing for the art show that I did recently as well as the workshops that I did this month so things are kind of just laid out and thrown around so just be prepared for that <laughs> so this is when you first walk into my studio this is some of my uh, leftover workshop material and crates from a market with some of my product in it um, that little tub is normally what I bring for any markets that I do I have my glaze shelves and then, like I said, I have arts and crafts with my daughter. And then some more glaze. And in that cabinet is some bisque ware. And then this is just my only shelf that I have to put my product as it's drying or I'm glazing. Things like that. Um, every time I organize it, it's like it grows more. And then I have my wheel right here next to my roller and then I have a little cart with uh, sponges extra sponges and tools what I want to do is get another cart and put that on the side of this work table for my glazes but as you can see everything's just these this shelf used to these things used to be on top of my work table but then I didn't have room to actually work and then under there is some clay and over here is some of my clay and then over here is some of my shipping stuff and product and then onto the arts and crafts again 
all that's arts and crafts, arts and crafts. So see, I have my door finally cleared away. That's good. And then I have my roller. And then under there, some more clay and a container full of workshop stuff. And then that's home stuff. And then more, more arts and crafts. So that is, I'll just do one more sweep around. That is my workshop, my studio. So as you can see, I got some organizing to do and I'm excited about this uh, grant because my plan is to get one storage cabinet a storage shelf and one of those little um, wheeled caddies for this studio. Now one day eventually I do want to build a bigger studio but with those three items which I'm hoping fingers crossed I can find for under $500 all three um, it's going to help with my clay instead of my clay being all over the floor I'll have a cabinet to be able to put my clay in and any other materials that I can fit, like all my shipping um, stuff and things like that. So that's what I'm working on right now. So stay tuned. I'll have more videos shortly, I promise.